Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all's well. When is the Messiah coming? The question that everyone is asking. Is he coming today? Is he coming tomorrow? Is he coming in Tishrei, the month of Tishrei? Is he coming in the month of Nisan? Is he coming on Passover? Is he coming on Rosh Hashanah? All these questions are very commonly asked and very popular and very healthy to ask, right? Because we want to, we all want Mashiach. It's the ultimate purpose. But the answer, my dear brothers and sisters, of course, is we don't know when he's coming. But we want him to come right now. There's no even tomorrow, even to say he's coming tomorrow is, is, is way too long. We want him to come immediately, not even a millisecond from now, but right now. Because uh, everything we're going through, whatever issue a person's going through, it's not enough just to hope for that issue to be solved. We want the all the the the, the ultimate solver of issues, which is the coming of Mashiach. Give you an example. Every person has a certain situation they're going through, and that's like a key. A certain key fixes that situation. But Mashiach coming is like a master key that is able to unlock every door. That is what we want. That solves all of our issues. And not only does it just solve our issues and make our pain go away, but just even more so, it brings the good. The Mashiach coming will cancel out pain and bring upon the pleasure. And also we're in the process where prophecies have been unfolding. And it's not by accident that the whole world right now is talking about the Holy Land of Israel. The reason for this is because it's the holiest place on earth. It's the land that God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their children, the Jewish people, forever and ever. And whoever argues with that fact is arguing with God himself and is, is telling God Almighty that they're against him, that they're his enemy. And I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. So if you talk negatively about the Jewish people... You should know that 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 very that very speech is the source of all your issues, and it could be the source, if you don't repent and return to God, of all your future issues that could be devastating. God forbid. So I would not suggest to my worst enemy to curse the Jewish people, because cursing the Jewish people brings upon a direct curse. When a person curses the Jewish people, that brings upon them a direct curse from God Almighty. And who would want to be cursed by God Almighty? That's the scariest thing possible. I bet you guys are careful with what you put in your body, but you're careful not to ingest poison. You're careful with the food you eat. You're careful with what you breathe, with what you touch, with, you know, all these type of things to get enough sleep and so on and so forth. But are you careful with your words? How could somebody who's in their right mind curse the Jewish people when the Torah itself says that that brings upon them a, dead, a, a deadly curse from God Almighty? Even if it's not death, it's a life of death. Why would anyone curse the Jewish people when they could bless the Jewish people and receive a direct blessing from God Almighty? That's just God's words, it's not my words. It's in the Holy Torah, in the Bible. It's not my words. You don't have to trust me. You can just read the Bible. This is where it's from. I'm not making this up. So if you want to be blessed by God Almighty, bless the Jewish people. And you should know that the, the redemption is not only for the Jewish people. Yes, it's for the Jewish people, and it's for the non-Jewish people, the righteous Gentiles. The, the Messiah is going to save the world, Jew and non-Jew alike. This is how you know the truth of Judaism, the truth of the Torah, that you don't have to become a Jew to be connected to Hashem. It's so humble. All the other religions, not I don't know about all the religions, but so many religions, it seems like almost all, are saying, you have to be like me to be this. You have to be like me. If you don't believe in what I believe, if you don't fall, do everything like me, you're going, you're going to be punished forever and ever. But that's an insecure mindset that everyone has to be like me. Judaism is so complete that it says if you're Jewish, you have a mission as a Jew. If you're non-Jewish, you can be also a righteous non-Jew, a righteous Gentile. If you follow the seven laws of Noah, the seven laws of Noah for all of mankind. The Jewish people have 613 commandments to follow. The non-Jewish people have seven commandments to follow. And they too will be a part of the redemption. That's how you see the fullness of Judaism, of the Torah. Because you can connect to God if you're Jewish and if you're not Jewish. So check us out for more information. The Messiah is coming. The Mashiach is about to arrive. We hope he comes today. And we know that the Mashiach coming will bring a revelation of God on earth, an end to suffering, and a revelation of the Master on earth. We'll experience our Creator. A total expansion of consciousness, a true bliss, a true pleasure. May it happen today. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help donate to us below. Any amount is infinitely appreciated. Thank you.